independence is meaningless unless it's linked up with total liberation of the African continent. Hey guys, welcome to the newly renovated Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. Have you been here? And even if you have been, have you tried to already here on a cool Friday evening? Well, I'm here and I'm going to show you around. Memorial Park and also. So let's go back a little bit. On this day, which was the 4th of July, 2023, the newly renovated Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park was commissioned by the president of Ghana, Nana Adu Dankwa Akufuado. Please subscribe to the channel now and turn your notification bell on. So the park was originally built in 1991 and in 1992, it was open to the public. This was during the tenor of our former president Jerry John Rollins of blessed memory and so the park has been around for quite a bit last year the park was shut down to be renovated but yeah looking at what has been done so far it was definitely worth the wait around the reception area there is a red carpet that is laid here and this red carpet ushers you into the reception where you get to buy your ticket or pay for your ticket there's also the presidential car inside i'm going to take you in so we have a look for ourselves So now the park has a beautiful reception area. I mean, you saw what it looks like inside. Totally beautiful. It also has a presidential library. The park also now has a musical fountain, which is lovely. You know what's different from the first one? This one comes with synchronized audio visuals, which makes it the first of its kind in West Africa. It's even more beautiful in the evening. So this is when I did my night tour and I absolutely love it.
so also inside the park is a beautiful gift shop um, where you can buy books by Kwame Nkrumah. You can buy shirts with this inscription on it. You can buy a lot of gifts for your family and friends, um, souvenirs. There are a lot of things to buy here. You just have to walk in and... Hello everyone, I'm Georgina Ntafwa and I'm here today at the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. Um, Kwame Nkrumah has played a big part in uh, our living here in Ghana because he was the reason why we have um, independence and because of him we have a whole lot. This place is beautiful. I know that he was the first Prime Minister of the country and he fought and did a lot for the country. So big ups to him. My name is Sandra and I came here to explore. I had a very, ex I had a great day. I'm so excited to be here and I would like to visit here as always. My name is Joshua Nia James Asawa and uh, when I came here, I saw many things here. It was, I was glad to be here because uh, I didn't expect something like this. And when I got here, it's nine. Okay, this place is very beautiful, but we're just hoping that they maintain it so that, you know, our future generations can have a feel of it. Everybody, everybody, the leaders and those coming here, they shouldn't litter around. Like, this place should be kept clean all the time. Yeah. I think um, I feel the experience. I wish I came here earlier, maybe in the morning, but I'm, I'm here at night. But I've, so far, I've had a, a nice experience. But you see the place is looking very beautiful i love everything about it especially the pictures this is my favorite spot i love this 